right, another example lick number two comes at 339 of natural ball. Tell me if you don't recognize this one. Oh, let's start over. Okay, we'll do it again. All right, so what is that? Well, we went over that same section of natural ball, 339, for lick number one, because it starts with lick number one. Minor third, hammer into the fourth, vibrato, and then minor third, root, root. Then you play fourth, bend up to fifth, release down to the fourth. Now you do lick number two. Then you do minor third. Root, root, flat seventh, root, root, back to the minor third with a little sting on it. That hummingbird, <laughs> wait, B.B. King's specialty, right? You try it. You're actually, you, you kind of, you kind of bend in it slightly. That's the, that the minor third. We're in the key of E on the 12th fret, if I didn't mention. So that's the, the minor third is the G. And that's on the 12th fret of the G string, right? So you're you're bending it like a quarter, I guess, or slightly. And you're adding that vibrato by pivoting the, the hand somewhere over here. You just got like a pivot going. And everything else is like floating. It's going like you got your... It's really, it's, it's hard to explain. I, I, I'm not, I heard B.B. King explain it, and others who took it from him explain it. And it's, it's hard to understand until you try it, and then you sort of, you sort of get the feel. Now, I haven't mastered it. I still got to work on that. That's a tough one to, technique to do, but it's worth, uh, it's worth all the effort. Because when you can get a vibrato even just close to what BB King can do, I mean, I'm sure none of us will ever match it. But if you can even just get a resemblance of it, you know, that would be beautiful. Okay? I don't even know if Jimmy puts much vibrato on it. He might just go. He might do it like that. I can't remember. But uh, it feels natural to throw it in there like that. But uh, yeah, that now again, see, nothing is in a vacuum, folks. Lick number one, lick number two, the, the, the licks to come. Nothing's in a vacuum. They're kind of, when I'm giving these examples, you'll start to notice them. Um, I have yet to go over certain moves that have, I noticed, have occurred in these licks quite a few times. One of them being this. The fourth bend into the fifth is going to be a whole other classification of licks, okay? We'll get into that one, you know, soon. Um, so nothing's in a vacuum. They're all constantly being used and twisted about. And once you know these 10 or 12, you'll, you could almost listen to the whole, whole 12 bars of Jimmy solo. And you'll practically know the whole thing just by hearing it. That's the goal, right? Pretty cool stuff. All right. So we'll move on to the next one.